All right. Time to play some Stray. Had a long day today. Worked at a coffee shop and everything was breaking in some way. The freezer was, le or not the freezer, the ice machine was leaking. Uh, what else? Broken. Uh, God. Uh, the pipes underneath the sink were falling out. Apparently, we had some issues with some of the product and not having everything, and it got packaged wrong. And just a lot of weird things happened today. Oh, it might help if I actually go over. Hi, Sheila. Spinach. Yeah, one of my cat's spinach looks, in my mind, a lot. Very similar to uh, the main cat of this game. I don't know its name, if it has a name. I know very little about this game other than we're playing as a cat. I have avoided any and all spoilers of this game. I've saved clips of other people playing this game so I can see reactions to it later. After I had a chance to play this game myself. Here we are. No tiny cat with green eyes. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Why do you do this to me? You were doing this yesterday too. Why do you do this to me? It just froze. Go live. Go live. What's this doing on this end? You were doing this yesterday, too. Why do you do this to me? Oh, God, stop. I don't want sound there. Oh, come on. This is going to work better? Time to say goodnight in the rain. Okay, I need to change that. Um, settings. I don't want it to just pause every time I need to do something. There we go. In 
inside the wall. Why does everything have to go wrong all of a sudden when I want to stream? Okay, let me just pull that down. Put that off to the side, put that there. I want you to be live. You too. All right, cats, what are we doing today? Oh, I can meow. It's too bad I'm wearing headphones right now. I want to know what my girls would think of this. What are you doing? Okay, what does I say? You're leaving me behind. Oh, I can scratch at the tree, too. Oh, I gotta mash it. Okay. So far, just cats doing cat things. Here we go. Um, where is that? That's not what I want. That is what I want. That does not look like a fun drop. What do you do? This game is just adorable. Lead the way guys, because I have no idea where I'm going. And I have no idea what we're doing today. Just walk on the ramp. Ooh, I can. Hold X to chain jumps. Okay. Okay, I'm going to check something real quick. Care about download? What's my upload speed? Something has got to be wrong right now. Okay, I have eight hundred and forty-seven megabits per second upload speed. Why is this having so much trouble? Why do I have to f deal with this right now?
good bit rate on OBS. Yes, zero drop frames on my end. Yeah, I mm. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to fix this. I've been searching for an answer on this for a while for the question. Here we go. Frames I have zero percent frame minutes for Render lag zero, skip frames from the total lag. I have almost the same. I've not dropped any frames. Uh. Audio streams current bit rate. Audio bit rate of zero. I don't know what it means an audio bit rate of zero. My audio bit rate, uh, I changed it to 128, but it's at 160. Good lord. Okay, let's try that and see if. Let's just keep going and see what it does. Last time it just kind of fixed itself. Hopefully it'll do the same today. Oh, I wish YouTube wasn't so jank. careful this does not this does not look safe at all oh yeah something bad's gonna happen oh he's nervous oh no oh no oh kitty kitty no oh no I can't do anything to help. Oh no, poor cat. Oh, I hate seeing it. Oh. 
Oh, I've got a broken leg. Oh. Oh no. Don't tell me there's a cat that got put in a trash bag like that. Okay, now I'm actually getting a message saying encoding overloaded. At least that's a little bit more information. Okay, that's not using up a whole lot. Hmm. Video encoder has no it's its old chain of video quality or CPU usage accordingly. My CPU isn't being used up ten percent. And it's my GPU that's encoded. Oh yeah, my GPU is working hard right now. Good lord. Okay, um... What is this? Okay, what if I actually... Okay, I will be right back. Um I will be right back. Hello, hello. Okay, my CPU usage is going up. Is everything going all right? I hope. Let's make sure. Okay, yeah, everything's still moving, right? Um, let's see. Okay, my CPU's still not spiking up. Okay, if I go here. Apply that. Oh, 
Holy crap, that actually seemed to work. So it's my GPU. I mm, I might need a bit of an upgrade for that, or I might need to figure out how to use less RAM. My GPU is sitting at like 90%. And I was using hardware to encode it instead of software. Uh, software coding might not be the best, but at least I now know what the problem is. Oh. Okay, did I not break my leg? My leg? I'm walking fine on it now. Hey, you're being noisy. You're being noisy. Get the leg. Get the leg. Get it. Get it. Get the leg. It's finished. Lights on spinach, get spinach. Okay, so this bag was moving, I know that much. Um, oh, I should probably move that so I can actually see. There we go. Um, Miss Jump. We're in the dead city now. Oh, what are those things? Okay, so some someone watching that camera. Oh, well, that did absolutely nothing. Of things for no reason, just having me hop back down. Yeah, I used to be a much more into dogs, but I since owning cats and being on my own, help what was that. I wonder what that was supposed to say beforehand, but since living on my own and not having the ability to raise and train a dog from scratch. I got a couple of cats because they're a lot more independent. And I have come around to cats. They are wonderful, if not mischievous little assholes that like to get into the cabinet trees. They like to hide in the closets. Go this way. Follow me. I can go in the window. Oh, that's not a window, that's a vent. Oh, I got a bucket! Oh, my stars. Somewhere. I'm bringing it with me. I don't know why, but I'm doing it. This is my bucket. Um. Oh, I can be one of those cats and just knock stuff off the shelf.
this doesn't fall and land on anyone's head. It'd be a real shame if it did. Can I make the jump this time? I can. That was made of glass. Don't hurt yourself landing on it. So what is this thing that I'm supposed to be following? Oh, I get a scratch of the carpet. to ride down. Oh, well. Can't get back up, though. Oh. What are those things? They look like giant bugs of some kind. Oh. oh. Hello, robot. Mr. Robot. Oh, I... Oh, I powered him off. Can I turn him back on? Okay, so whatever this place is, are all the inhabitants robots or something? Mm, go this way. I go that way? Okay, I can go. No, no, I didn't want to go down. I want to go up. Kitty. Run. Or two to run. Oh. They're out for blood. What are these things and why are they attacking me? Oh, oh, get off me. Bring a crate with me. I don't know why these things. I don't know if they're uh, inspired by them or not, but these things remind me of uh, a little bit of like rounder head crabs. Go up, go up. Something about me meowing messes with the technology in here. Oh, well. 
though. I just put me right back to square one. What was that? I heard a cat. Unless that was just me. Monstrosity is that? Oh, there I go breaking everything again. So that exactly. Oh, not these things. Oh, wait, no, this isn't what I fell from. Never mind. So should I just be meowing at everything then? I don't know what it does, but it seems to do something. Oh, not again, not again. Okay, that was a much shorter drop at least. Then fall and get myself hurt. What was that? Sheila. Say hello. She don't want to right now, though. <clears throat> oh. Great. I got the hiccups. 
goes. I don't like that. They hurt so bad for me. scared her further into the box. Okay. Aha, here we go. I do like that they decided to make it everything have physics to it. Everything that you push, you or that you walk into, you push, you bump. Everything gets thrown around. Everything has a uh, oh, what's the word for it? Oh, I can't remember what the word for it is, but you can interact with everything around you. In small, seemingly meaningless ways. How do I just go through here? Yeah. Just squeeze through a little gap. I'm thinking too much like a person and not enough like a cat. I gotta think about how I can get into anything and everything. Yeah, you girls never taught me how to get into any everything. Uh, oh, I can just hop straight up, okay. I don't have to find anything. Okay, so now I'm in someone's apartment. If, for whatever reason, they've just got a picture of a cow on their wall. Oh, don't blur. Walton City 99 International University Science and Tech Institute, WC 99 Campus Affiliated Institution. hoping to knock it over. Oh, I did. Oh, that's... I can just turn the music on and off. Smart cat know how to know how to do that. Gotta tear up every rug. Need help. Okay, that's cute. Body required for download. Body required. Enter the door, turn on, find a body. Okay, that's cute. I like that. I don't like where this is going. Is something gonna take over my body? My little cat body? OK. 
Okay, one battery. cat know how to do all these things oh there we go That's supposed to say. It's just a robot body here. Here we go. Oh, I knocked his head off. We got a new body. This thing, what do I do with that? Okay. There you go. Stay in the air for long. Oh, there it goes again. So who is this? Or oh, what is this thing that I'm helping? It worked. I'm free. Thank you. I couldn't believe the cameras. A cat in the dead city? I'm... I can't remember my name. It seems my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know I worked for a scientist who lived here. For now, you can call me B12. That's what it says on my exterior. It's dangerous in the dead city, but you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here. Follow me. That key unlocks the door. I remember that much. Let me get that for you. Very good. Battery low already. Come over here. You're gonna have to put this on. What is it? Oh, I got a little vest now. <laughs> I don't know how to stand with it. Yep, that feels heavy to the cat. The backpack was designed for small quadrupeds like you. Is this uncomfortable for- Yes! Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. Okay. Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Or to others if we come across any. Now let's get out of this flat. Am I able to move around like normal? I can. Do you have anything to say to me about scratching up your carpet? No. 
Gwen. Oh, that is... Jeez, that is bright. Piano. Musical cat. Spilt paint everywhere. Code three seven four eight. If I walk on this, does it? No, it doesn't leave little blue paw prints. Okay, how do I? Okay, I can't turn the light off. For a bucket ride. Wow, look at this place. That elevator in the distance. That's important, I think. I know we need to go up. That's where my friends are, is up. But I wonder what. I, go. I fell down a long way, but I don't see anything up there unless that's like a plate or something. Because that is not a natural. That is no way that's a star pattern. Oh, my ride, come back. Wait, I remember. The outside. Feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? Definitely came from outside the city. I promised someone I would go there. Promised who? This postcard. The mural was painted from it. Let's take it. Okay. Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. Okay, I got one memory, 3%. Yeah, I try to put a harness on my cats to take them for walks and... Go outside with them every now and again. Every time I put it on, they just kind of flop over. I wonder why that is, why they do that. There's nothing up there for me. Oh, I could have taken a look at that. Oh, no head crabs. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Get away from me. Okay, now we're in the slums. Hey, it's a robot. He's scared of me. He's very scared of me if he just set off an alarm. Okay, why are these robots scared of a cat? Come back. I mean, my mail is doing something to the electronics. Maybe it messes with them, too. 
If so, I am a very powerful cat. Stay out here and talk to me. He's gonna hit me with that stick. I'm gonna be mad. Me. What? They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. Cat got your tongue? We're not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. Okay. I don't know how I'd go about eating you. Made of metal. I'm a tiny little fur ball. What happened to you guys that made you so fearful of something like a cat? You look lost. What do you need? Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows it is impossible to leave this place. Well, Except the outsiders. But they're all gone now. Except Momo. You can try and talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Well, I guess we're gonna go pay Momo a visit then. Oh, he smiles when I meow at him. Oh, this is so cute. Hi! Oh... Guess these guys are a bunch of monks. Oh, why are you angry at me? Why go up there? There's nothing there. You two are both surprised. You're angry and you're surprised. Ancestors, the soft ones, left us this city. Our home is our legacy. Okay, so people left the robots down here. You get mad. No, I want someone to get mad at me for doing cat things. Oh, he's very nervous. He's sweating. I take care of the plants. The humans improve them so much. Now they require very little light. I just add a bit of water and look how big they got. It's really amazing technology. The outside? Why bother trying to find it? We're good here. Hmm. I don't know about you. I want to. I want to get to the outside. So I need to go that way then. So there's the sign. Oh, an open window. Hello there. Are you Momo? If it don't work, hit it till it works. Hi. 
It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey you, what do you want? This is a picture of the outside? Do you want to go there? Oh, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll only bring you it'll it'll bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried contacting them, but that fucking transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go there. Well, was notebook, one of four. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Oh, seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The outsider's manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. And assign Clementine, Zabaltazar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Yes. That's my notebook. I was the last to join the outsiders. And almost the last remaining one. Okay, um... Oh, they had multiple songs. Okay. Boom. Curiosity killed the cat. Oh no. Oh no. Did that- that reversed my controls. Oh no. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. What's that? Oh, a little ball. Translate. Outsiders. Turn the music off. Okay. Oh, I can just scratch at the door. I can just scratch at anything and everything. Okay. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Well, looks like that's where we're going next. That seems like a lead. Okay, let's hop in the bucket then. Um, I don't want to go down. Notebook. It's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes... I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. So they all went up to mid-level or mid-town, whatever they said it was. And Momo didn't want nothing to do with it. 
He wanted to stay out of it. Okay, so there's that. I guess I can try and make my way over there next. There's some robots over there. Oh, no, 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 don't go down. Some robots over there climbing around and playing. Oh, no, no. No, I don't want to go down. Oh, robot right next to me, too. Is those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. So it's a city divided by an upper level city by a plate. Wonder where they got that idea from. Please don't bother for her. She's so clumsy. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to be that cat. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. Oh, can I do it? I did it. I made him drop a bucket. Oh, it made another robot angry. Hi there, how's it going? Hope you've been having a good day. Okay. Oh, how do I get across that far? I need to go up where he is. I'm on the wrong side. Done throwing paint now that I've. Ooh, don't fall. You're done throwing paint now that I made him drop the one bucket. <laughs> Ventilation power supply. No, I, I don't want to translate that one once. That did. I thought there would have been a uh, notebook in there or something. Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, our simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Okay, a little memory. Get back up there? Yeah. Okay, that's them. Okay, 
over there's got to be something I'm missing in that room this is what they talked about being the same symbol that was on the notebook there's got to be something in here that I missed Seems to belong to someone named Zalbazar. Zabaltazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. Okay, so the Zerks are probably those head crab looking things. Okay, now I can leave. I'm done in here. I've got the notebook. Okay, where's that? Glass. There's one there. There's... This one. There's that one there where I got the first notebook. I'm going to see it on the way down somewhere. <laughs> what do you have to say? I think the outsiders seem to live in the upper flats. We won't find anything in these narrow streets. Well, I kind of figured that much. I thought you'd at least have something to say about the, uh, notebook. Hello, I'm the merchant of the market. You give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It, it's as simple as that. It's a set of electrical cable. The best on- best of the market. I'll exchange this for a super spirit detergent. That's the best I can do. Well, I don't have any detergent of any kind. Music sheet, a masterful piece of art of a very renowned artist. It will cost you one energy drink can. I can't do less. Okay, so he just wants random items then. Take a little nap. Oh. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Not again. Okay, there we go. Take safe's mysterious password. Um, how do I? Okay. Um. Oh, I forget how to look at items. Forward, back, and left, right, run, jump, interact. Yeah, I'll use talk up on the D pad. There we go. 
<laughs> it's written, follow the numbers, but it looks like a binary language, a succession of one and zeros. You must be able to decipher this code in one way or another, it's probably related to the safe. Oh, let me, let me see what the numbers are. Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. Can you tell me anything about the... Oh, I can give you the sheet music. It's a very old binary code. You have here, only a real geek can read this. Okay, let's see here. Got this cooldown. I think I can play this look. Okay, I like that music. I hope he just keeps doing it. I hope he just keeps playing. Uh, do you know anything about the password? Only a real geek can read this. Very ancient. I wonder if Momo can read it. What do you have to say after I made you drop? Oops. Are you still looking for those notebooks? I am, but I want to know what you have to say about this. Okay, so you're not a real geek. Okay, so those are the outsiders then. Remember, back home too. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? TV. No time for TV though. Artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Volume 42. What's that? Oh, I found a little cubby hole to sleep in. Alright, 
good nap. Time to wake up. Oh. <clears throat> yes, I want here. Okay, so that will only take me down. A certain spot. Anything for scratching at all this stuff? Or is it literally just there because? Translate. Hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books, just the librarian. Okay, so I wonder if that's where it's going to be. In the safe somewhere. Oh, and there it is, too. Yep, there's the book. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh. There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design fault in the transceiver. Design fault in the transceiver. But I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our, that could be our way out. Let's show them what we found. So there's that. Now we gotta go back to Momo. Hello. Oh, hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. Do you know what this is? No. Who's the geek that knows what this is? Who's the real geek? Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun and fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. Today, it is the only celestial object known to foster life. According to radiometric dating, the Earth is 4.54 billion years old. It has a single natural satellite, the moon, which formed soon after. The gravitational interaction with the moon creates the tides, stabilizes the Earth's axis of rotation, and gradually reduces its rotation speed. Cat, are you still looking for no those useless notebooks? Uh, Doc's notebook. Oh, they belong to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Okay, so maybe Doc's was gonna give me the code. Oh, that's a bolt to Zara's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? 
Yes? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. It means we should be able to communicate outside the slums. Clementine and Zabaltazar are duck. I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Come with me. Man. I wish I had some robes like his. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. Our friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Okay, so where do I need to put this in? Oh, it is very quiet now. That is never a good sign. Rooftops. city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy cabs, especially in the slums, where people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up a rainbow lamp, lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over the house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. This whole circumstance just sounds really bleak and depressing. Heights like this. 
Yep, this is my first playthrough. I have honestly no idea what is going on right now, other than I'm trying to get to the outside. So I gotta do this, I gotta be quick about it. Open that back up. Is that close enough to get me up there? Yep, okay. How have you been enjoying your night so far, Fred? Or day, I don't know what time it is for you. United States Eastern. I'm actually not too far off. I'm U.S. Central right now. Anything? Anything happened today? I just had a normal day today. Get to do anything exciting with your day? Responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slum, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating way more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. Oh man, a hike in the woods actually sounds really nice. I used to... The house I grew up in was right outside the woods, so I used to go hiking through them all the time. The weather's actually been wonderful today. Though so we're looking at getting a cold front where I'm at here in the next couple days, and I'm not ready for it. Oh, 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 get off me. God. Stay away. Get off me, stay away. Oh, God. Stay off. 
Damn it. Yeah, I've been waiting for the hype to die down. Obviously, just starting out streaming is just like, I don't want to... If people want to come and watch, I don't want to stream at the same time that all the biggest streamers are. Definitely felt like it would be a good thing to wait for a little bit. Oh, one little guy's left. Go away. Yeah, that happens with all the new games, which is good to see. You get a lot more people that... Oh, no, 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 not what I want to do. You get a lot of uh, different perspectives on the game, maybe different people that feel different ways about it, and see a lot of people's reactions to it. Kind of like seeing, uh, kind of like seeing, seeing or playing a game for the first time again, even if it's through another person. in here, but for what? Okay, I see what I see what it is. It's okay. Uh, oh, please don't notice me yet. Have there been any games that you're looking forward to seeing or playing that are coming out here soon? Yeah, that's fair. So what vintage games did you play? Or what vintage games have you enjoyed? Here it is, put the transceiver on this antenna. Or anything vintage at that. Oh, 
I didn't really grow up with much of those. I know because of my dad, I played a lot of uh, Mario Brothers, Mario Lost Levels. Um, God, we had Duck Hunt growing up. Uh, Super Mario World. Super Mario Kart. What were some of the things you did play? Look at the view, it's beautiful from here. I remember now, the city, it was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights making the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost and nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from the but if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. My promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Here she looks. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Oh yeah, I put a lot. One of my favorite games to play was Super Mario World. I had it on the Game Boy Card. Why did they make it like this? Oh, what the? Oh, well, thanks YouTube. Dolphin emulator for GameCube and Wii. Searching high rated games for those consoles. I don't know much about current emulation right now. It's been a while since I've used it. I know I modded my Wii and Wii U to be able to play all old games and everything. I just don't really know what's out there. The biggest game I keep going back to from my childhood on the GameCube is actually uh, Luigi's Mansion. Oh, Momo left. Oh yeah. Super Mario World and I believe Ocarina of Time as well. Ocarina of Time I think got perfect 10 out of 10s whenever it released. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is. What the hell is that? How the hell am I supposed to type that? Here's a log for the window. The code was... It was an H, I think. Oops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. And then it was O or was it zero? Let's see. Okay, thank God I didn't have to do anything with that. I might actually have to re revisit some of those older games sometime. Nostalgia is king for me for video games right now. I want to go back and play some of the older Pokemon games, play Super Mario World, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. Yeah, I don't blame you, especially now. They're hard to get. I luckily... I got a PS5. I got it. I did get scalped for it, but it was a very like small scalping. It was like maybe 600 or 650, which is what less than what I would have had to have pay from any retailer because even Walmart was selling them for a thousand dollars at one point. Wow. 
Spider-Man Super Wonder Spirit Grandma clothing. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't, because I worked at a, uh, I worked at a place that uh, what was it? Basically, received we received refused freight, um, and we would sell things off at an auction whenever we got there, and they sold PS5s at the MSRP whenever we would get them in. And then at some point, someone found out how much they were going for online and how much they were selling for at those bid sales. And they stopped selling them to us for MSRP because we would get first pick. And they, the company we worked for was scalping us as well. That kind of pissed me off because I wanted to get one when I worked there, but didn't get the chance to before they kicked the prices up. <laughs> Um, as far as brand new, I'm currently playing God of War Ragnarok. Uh, new games haven't really particularly interested me as of late. I think the biggest things that I'm looking forward to are the remakes right now for Dead Space that just recently came out and Resident Evil 4 that comes out in a couple months. I remember when the trailer dropped for Resident Evil 4, watching that, and it was so weird looking watching Leon stop a chainsaw with his little pistol. I don't know how I missed you. You stand out like a sore thumb. Hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. Oh, God. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Yeah, I've built up a sizable library that I kind of want to go through. It's not the biggest by any means, but it's kind of what I'm going to be doing on Fridays. I have saw a video of how someone else made it through their library. They used a program called Play Night that just kind of picks a random game for them and they have to play it for at least an hour to see if they actually enjoy it or not. So I'm going to do the same and take a page from their book. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Zabaltazar? Momo? Pfft. I... I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zabaltazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes. We are safe. We found a way out. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. It's nice of you to say. I, I hope so. It'd be nice to, but I'm not really too worried about that at the moment. If I can grow, I can grow, even if it's a sub at a time. Even if it's one by one. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it. We've lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zavaltazar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to get up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but as the Baltazar made it, there must be a way. Mm -hmm. 
you'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. Thanks for the warning, pal. Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test a device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. So Doc was his dad then. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc, men Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Just as, as slow moving as this guy is, this is just as bad as any escort mission. <laughs> Announcement I'm looking for any sheep music to play the guitar to add some ambiance. If you find any, bring, bring, them back. bring them back to me. Holy crap. I live near the elevator. Come on, Seamus. Open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you. I think I have an idea. I'm already trying to climb up. supposed to be climbing up right now. No. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try and reestablish communication with the others. Oh, there's just a tiny little hole here. What are you doing in here? I told you, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. Oh. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? Secret lab right under my nose. Maybe there are clues hidden somewhere around here. How? How did this guy come to be? Since he's got a father, then. Time will tell. Uh, two, five. One, one? There we go. Alright, where's this weapon? I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be a first Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real-life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. I 
pretty much what I've done for most of my life is playing video games, so some things come a little easy and that, and I just want to be that asshole cat that tears everything apart. As soon as I mention asshole cat, mine goes running off. Uh, there goes the other one. Robot News headlines, Zerk are, no, are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Oh, I can't read all that that quickly. Defluxer blueprint concept, light-based handgun, low priority visual appearance, size, decibel emitted, high priority test neural condition, objective 20 Zerk destroyed per second. Find anything interesting in here? That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. Yeah, I feel like so far from what I have played which isn't much but they uh they seem to place the puzzles in some easier places that they just reward you for being curious much like a cat at least that's kind of how it seems I will be right back though That tracker your resource well maybe you can find some okay so you're not gonna help me any <laughs> gotta clean the paint again it sure is making use of all that detergent can I get detergent from them or from in here oh yes Okay. I don't know what I need that for. I know it's for something in the shop, but... Okay, where's the shop at? Oh, <laughs> 
I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 407, 478 miles of scarves. Why? You can make a poncho out of an electric cable. Hello. What was it that I got from the uh, detergent? Is that electric cable or is that something else? I don't even remember what. Oh, he's this way? Well, you've got the music though. Not a problem. Well, one more for you. Mildly important information. This one was composed by a renowned algorithm. Great stuff that falls on a trash. So many treasures you should visit the barter man. There's some for everyone over there. Oh, right back to where I started. Okay. Um, shopping cart this way. Super spirit watching. Okay, so Barterman is this way, but. Oh, here he is. Um... Okay, yeah, I did get that. Super spirit detergent. Okay, now I can take that back to the lady and get a poncho. Uh, super spirit clothing this way. I want my poncho, Grandma. Thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. Gain new item. Poncho. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. Can I put the poncho on? Should be 12. This looks really warm. Prefer a cold robot. I've seen that. I don't know much about it. It looks really interesting. To say the least, I just... I never played the first one either. I don't know how much they have to do with each other or if I should play the first one first. Do you want a poncho? Okay, you're not a cool robot. How much is Little Nightmares, anyways? Uh, little Nightmares. Ew. Maybe if I can catch it on sale, I don't want to really spend 20 bucks on it right now. Just scratching, or is this actually gonna get me in here? Please don't act like a child, I'm not gonna hurt you. So, aside from Stray and Little Nightmares, what else have you been watching lately?
Rip humans. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Okay, I know I can use that at the shop too. I think that one gives me the sheep music. Is yesterday is tomorrow. Tomorrow will be yesterday, today, right? Time is weird. We don't act like our soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. Need a poncho. Okay. I've always found puzzle games kind of fun for the most part, but I'm very picky with puzzle games. I'm more like... Um... Let's see here. I'm more like the, uh... Like, escape room kind of puzzles where they have problems to solve. But I don't go out searching for puzzle games, so I don't know what all kinds of different puzzle games there are. Oh yeah, Phasmophobia. I've tried playing it a little bit. But it just kinda... Didn't go so well for me. I enjoy watching it more than I do playing it. Okay, I already talked to you. puzzle game I really actually played was one of the Sherlock Holmes games and that made me feel really really stupid. I had no idea what to do with half of those. You knew around here, what can I do for you? I don't have anything to give you. Take an employee of the month, September XX27. Okay. Um, bartender. There's a sign saying bartenders are this way. Uh. I'll cost you one energy drink can. There you go. Okay, that's just something I can climb on. Oh, God, it's lagging really bad right now. This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It will cost you three energy drink cans. It's something I have mixed feelings about for sure. Oh, do I have to... Game, stop lagging. 
What are you doing? It, I've had games where the cutscenes just kind of seem to drag on forever. I don't mind a longer cutscene every now and again, but if it's just constant long cutscene after long cutscene after long cutscene, then yeah, it gets to just be more annoying than anything after a while. but I remember that there was a game that I played recently. It just, like you said, it felt like I was just watching a movie. Oh. Uh, not necessarily cutscenes per se, uh, but the uh, animations that it had in Kingdom Hearts 3. Every time you would transform your weapon or do one of the specials, it would always interrupt the combat constantly. For just an animation, I hated it. Felt so miserable to play that. Um, I don't know if I'm t talking to people right now. I need to find the, uh... I need to find the uh, vending machines. Yeah, I grew up not necessarily with arcades like that. I did go to a few of them. Uh, I agree with that. A lot of the games that I played as a kid were very minor in the story. I remember playing Pokemon was a big one, uh, Super Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, GoldenEye 007. The console games back in the day just kind of got straight to the point and didn't seem to want to waste your time as much. I'm grateful for the story-driven games that we have, but sometimes they just drag. Yes, it was. Never played it for the story or anything like that. I just remember uh, my neighbors that were about, if I remember right, anywhere between six to ten years my senior. Uh, they had it growing up. I think they even had it. Oh, no, I, no, I hate that. Just give me control of my mouse. Um, Was it on... 007 Golden Golden Eye. Let's see here. I don't care about that. Okay, no, it wasn't. It was just in 64. I don't know why my memory is failing me at the moment, but I thought it was a. Uh, because I know they had a Dreamcast. But I thought they had the game on the Dreamcast as well, but must not have. But we would just play multiplayer on that, go paintball mode or whatever other game modes that they had on there. I don't really remember it too well. I actually still have a copy of it. Like I said, I didn't play much of the story or anything like that. I just played it for the, uh, for the multiplayer.
It was pretty much the equivalent of Halo 3 on the Xbox 360. Never got into Halo, but God, I loved the multiplayer on that. I loved, uh, what was it, Infected? My friend made a Infected custom match on there that gave the Infected players 300% speed, max movement speed. He'd spawn in a bunch of vehicles and they would be equipped with nothing but a uh, grab hammer and a energy sword. And the goal of it was to try and run over the infected who was also invisible. Just to be able to steal a sword or a grab hammer from him. So you could combat him until he killed all the other players. This is an early model of a companion. Back then they didn't have any personality, they were just glorified autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice that they eventually mimicked humans. It's like they missed them. In a way they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. And now I can talk to you. That did me nothing. I thought I had to do that to. What do I need to do then? Yeah, I don't know what trophies I got in this game so far. I know one of them I got for putting the bag on my head and messing with my controls. Maybe Elliot can help me. Okay, where's... Elliot, then. Teddy. Are you Elliot? No, Jacob. Seen this? My original design didn't have a digestive system. It is somehow but more by making humans. Do you think I should try some of it? You don't want to be disrespectful with our ways. What? Oh, I hate that. Focus. They're eating ram sticks. Sheet music. have to look into that is that like one of the mods in the community tab or is that something else because i know they have this on console as well or is that just like a steam thing elliot programming that way Save some the ruminer remunerate. I don't care. I just want to find Elliot now. Rosie, are you cold? Oh, well, oh. there goes YouTube again. Okay, you're talking about time. Oh. 
Let's find out. Okay. Play stray dog. Stray mod lets you play as a dog instead. The mod called the Happy Puppy Mod was created by Chris Krubino and is available for download at nexusmods.com. Get to play as a French bulldog puppy. Okay, I'm gonna have to look into that. So straight ahead then. Oh, wait, Grandma's straight ahead. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to figure that out whenever I take a break and try and mess with that. This it. It's okay, you can leave. The Guardian said it was not the Zerks. Oh. get a dog but the one thing that kept me from getting it is I just don't have the ability to take care of one right now Is Elliot programming is that way? Um, let's see here. Let's get up to the rooftops and see if I can figure it out from there. Stop it. Yes. 
Yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this one. Signs just pointing me in this direction. I'm not finding any any place I can get into. Okay, now that I want to go down, you're going to have me jump straight up. Thank you. Okay, we're right back to where Seamus is now. at that one. Won't let me scratch at that one. to me. Hi, can I talk to you? You're here for Elliot. He's just over there. Cheap music. bar. Okay, so I gotta go to the bar for that one then. It's a great tracker. I recognize that model. It's Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your track tracker. Well, already got the poncho for you. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. Look, no trimmers. I'm able to work again. Thanks, now I can definitely fix our tracker. Let me take a look. I just gotta give it an update and one more thing. Voila! There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. Can I get out of here, or is he just gonna, uh, just gonna scratch at it forever? This tree is a scientific model. It's remarkable that human ingenuity can found, found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. We're gonna apply for part of trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. That's what the humans would have wanted. So I don't want to know what if it says anything. 
but does it say anything about what happened to humans or is it just they're gone? Game Nester. They're just gone. It doesn't say anything about why or anything. Okay, neither of you two have anything to say about it. I don't want to be spoiled with it or anything. I just wanted to know if it actually mentioned anything of them. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. It mentioned coming... Something about a bar. Okay, now where is... Where am I supposed to go? Yes, I did. You did it. You fixed it. Well done. Give it here. All right, Doc, where are you? We got a ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Zerks. Oh, 
Look at all these Zerk eggs. They'll eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He'll know that you're a friend. I'll open the door for you. Thank you. How huge this wall is. I remember it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Yeah, I don't know why he would have had that. The only thing that really comes to mind, I mean, just Doc being his dad, but if he didn't want anything to do with it. Especially if it was for his son's safety from these things. I don't know why he would have given him one. Please be okay. Don't get hurt again. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Stock should be nearby. We must be close. Oh, yep. That same back paw that was hurt at the beginning. Yeah, I, like I said, I spent a lot of time playing games growing up and a lot of different games as well uh so just kind of developed uh me and my roommate or not my roommate but my old roommate and my friend end up calling just kind of a gamer instinct or intuition so we tend to pick up on things really quickly and really easily because this is what we sat around doing for Pretty much our entire childhood. We get the instinct of when something looks suspicious and whether it should be explored or not, and just kind of follow it. It requires some other part to function. Okay, I can't scratch at the door. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
that I just led around here, they led to the same place. Here's keeping those things around. I love his goggles, they remind me of googly eyes, and I don't know why. Whoa. Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. Wish I'd go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around, making lots of noise. Oh yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? Fluxer. At full charge, it can explode Zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.2 gigawatts to work, and the only thing around here with that kind of juice is a generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. 
I think a fuse blew, and with all the Zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. You can reach the generator and replace a fuse. I should be able to get the deflector charged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. That's what I like to hear. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once I fix the generator, I should be able to charge the and kickstart the deflexor. Just need to follow this cable to change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Easy enough. Yeah, I never watched the movies per se, but as soon as I heard that, I'm like, oh, okay, this is all connecting. I know what this is referencing at least. the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the deflexor is? It's definitely a way our way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount this deflexor to your drone. Do it, Doc. Either mount it to the drone or mount it to my backpack. It worked. The defluxer is now installed in your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run on such a small power source. If you use too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Squish. Hear these things out here. Hope it'll last until we reach the village, too. to the village. The switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. Absolutely nothing, okay.
Okay, it does nothing to the eggs. Oh, where are they coming from? Okay, that's... is that poisonous? I... it's the first time I've died. Alright, let's try this again. I just have one on me and not even realize it. Oh no. Uh, that, sound, uh, that sounds like something that would be true. I must have just had one on me and not even realized it. Outside. All right, get us out of here. You got the thumbs. If I don't end up getting that by the end of this playthrough, I might have to go back and get that. I want to try and die as few times as possible. At least for an actual playthrough. Ooh. Saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Doc and Shadows look happy. I think we did a good thing together. Checkpoint 15 seconds ago. Okay, that's not bad. I think I'm gonna have to call it quits for the night, though. I gotta be up in the morning and go to work tomorrow, so. Thanks for stopping by, Fred. It was good talking to you. Hopefully, I'll see you around sometime. If not, have a good one.
Not a problem. Thanks for coming and talking. Have a good night. Sounds good. Hopefully you can make it. Good night.